Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So tonight's video is about this brand new motor I'm offering for sale on my website. Uh, this is an all attraction motor, so no magnets on the rotor. And um, this is all laser, laser cut mild steel. So if you look at the rotor here, we have six poles. Um, it's just all laser cut stacked together, so this is ten pieces. And the stator goes all the way around to the other side as a magnetic loop. And then I have this completely open, so uh, those of you that buy this can experiment and see what's going on. And um, you have the timing wheel back in the back there, you can see. And you can adjust things and, um, you know, do all kinds of experiments with it. Um, it's an 8 millimeter shaft. And then um, this is starboard. And if you look at the back here, I have an extra large heat sink for a lot of experimenting. You need a nice big heat sink so it's dependable. And um, there's our circuit in the back. And so we have the MOSFET right here that's disconnectable. And then you have your opto isolator for the pulse width modulator. Um, and these all unplug. And then you have a little switch right here. And that little switch is so you could override the pulse width modulation. So if you turn this to the side, then it goes to full power and you don't have to use the pulse width modulator. Um, the first output is right here. Um, well, let's start with this. The black and red, obviously, is the input. Um, there's a 10 amp fuse that comes with it. These, All these wires come with it. So you got your primary output, which is Bedini style, which is the diodes right here. And then the bottom is um, isolated output. And that comes from these coils. So the coil has a couple different colors on here. So the more bronzy, um, darker color, there's two wires, two 18s, and that's your power. And then there's a one gold one that's 18, and that's your your output. So this is completely, completely isolated output right here through full bridge, and then it comes out here. So, so this one you could go back to your primary battery if you want. Um, the top one, the Bedini output, you can only go to a second battery. And um, yeah, so I I had a I made a bigger cap dump for this motor because it has a lot of output. Um, to give you an idea, this is this is the normal size that I sell. So this is double. So this is eight ten thousand and uh, twenty five volts. So at um, at fifteen volt zinger, uh, this can do three amps. And eighteen volts like we have now, um, it'll do a full five amps. And if your batteries are are low, like twelve. 11.5 volts or so you'll probably get closer to six or eight amps um, if you guys are um, Well, yeah, so this is on my website You guys can take a look at the bottom. It's all 12 gauge So this is up for sale on the website the motor is and then um, the pulse width modulator I don't offer so this is redesigned 3dps um, If you're interested in this um, You could get a hold of them right here on this email and he's selling these for fifty dollars, which is a really good deal. It has the screen that tells you what goes on. You have a lithium-ion battery that's rechargeable. This thing runs. I ran it for over ten hours straight, and um, it works really good. So, you email him if you're interested in that. And um, yeah, let's get this thing up and running. So, um, we're going to be running off this battery and then charging this battery. These are hundred amp hour batteries. And uh, if you're curious about the windings, uh, both of these are in series. Um, you're 150 turns in series. Um, two 18s for, prim for primary power and one 18 for secondary output. And uh, yeah, let's um, kick this thing going. So it's not a self-starting motor, but we'll put this up at about 40% for now. And just give it a little spin and she, she takes off. So. This is without load. It's at 40% pulse width modulation. So this motor, it's in attraction mode only, and there's no magnet. So when you're when you're running it with no load, it's a little bit higher than the magnet motors. But when you do load it, it doesn't really change very much. And this motor likes to be ran at um, at full power. So at full power, this is about 1,300 RPMs. And you can see on the scope, it's a really clean waveform. And you see the bottom here, it's charging the capacitor. So at a little under two amps, um, no load, you're, you're kicking out five amps, about a little over a second each. 
So, yeah, it's really smooth running. And what's neat is when you start loading this thing up, you know, it doesn't really draw a whole lot more, but, but the output starts going up faster and faster. So, pretty, pretty neat little thing here. So what we're going to do now, we'll slow it down. And um, I'm going to put this fan on so you can see a little bit more load. So keep in mind, you know, with no load, we were a little bit under 2 amps. So this is that the biggest fan I have. This is 18-inch fan that I've used on a lot of videos. So let's get this thing going here. So we'll do the same, about 40% to start this because there's no magnet, so it has to magnetize the rotor, so it takes a little bit more power. So you can see the pulse width. We're at 46% pulse width. We're using a little bit over an amp. And here's our discharge rate. So what we're going to do is start bringing this up. So we'll get up to full speed. So this is full power, which is kind of amazing. So you got this big fan, you're doing about 750-800 RPMs. And um, when we had no load, it was a little over an amp and a half. And now we're under load, and we're just a hair over, we're uh, 2.1 amps. And the output's actually going much faster now. So pretty neat. And then if you try to slow this thing down some more, yeah, you slow it down, it's still like a little over two and a half. You get it to three, the output's still starting to go even faster. So this thing likes, it likes the loads, you know? And um, at full power, it's just really smooth. And the waveform is just really clean. So, pretty neat. So anyway, guys, um, this is for sale on my website. You can go check it out. Um, if you're, if you don't want the whole motor, I'm going to be selling just the laser cut steel. So the front plate, the middle plates, the back plate, and then the rotor. Um, if you guys are interested in that, because it'll be quite a bit cheaper, um, just leave it in the comments, and I'll be putting that up on the store here pretty soon. Also, uh, right now I'm just selling it as motor as a whole. So yeah. And just wanted to, uh, to thank Redesign 3DP. He helped me um, redesign this and computer model it so I could get it all laser cut out. So it turned out really, really nice. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Leave any questions in the comments.